Alright, cool. That's actually a good angle. So, uh, okay. Well, my previous video didn't really work out like I intended. What did I intend to do? I bought this uh, Corsair cooler on sale because uh, something that I don't get um, with this computer it doesn't really give me a temperature readout on the CPU. <clears throat> And I've never had any problems with it, to be fair, uh, because actually, this when I got this from Scan about six months ago, probably eight months ago rather now, uh, it only had this rear fan, and it's only got like a dust filter on the front uh, and the top up here. And it, to be fair, it worked fine. I uh, I didn't really have any problems. It only had two sticks of four gig sticks of RAM, uh, and I upgraded that quickly to eight. We did have a 1660 Super, and I've literally just upgraded this a couple of days ago. I sold my, if you watch my mining video, which I'll link in the description, I'm going to do another mining video as well actually related to all this, HP, and uh, I had an RX 550 that I bought cheap a couple of months ago, about four or five months ago, and basically I decided, I saw my local pawn shop, they had an RX two, uh, 2060 in, and uh, for a good price I thought we would sell my Switch, and what else did I get rid of? We also then, yeah, got rid of this RX 550 and I ended up paying a very little amount towards getting this 2060. And I was kind of hoping, because I could, it wouldn't tell you what brand it was online when I saw the stock. Um, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be a palette card, but unfortunately <laughs> it is a palette card. But under a little bit of brief testing here, it's actually been really good. Uh, I think it needs a bit of a clean. I, I need to get the hoover on it, but I'm not too worried about that now. I think it's... It looks like it's a bit sticky. The the grill looks it's got sticky dust, because I've dusted it, but it still looks like there's a lot stuck to it, which I've not, I've not really had that problem with my card, so I don't really know. Uh, so the plan is today... Uh, I don't know how this will go in terms of editing and what I did. With the, I've got a lot of footage I did before, but you, I might just put that over and put a little bit at the beginning, and it might not make the full video unlike this one. So, because what I actually ran into is I wanted to fit this cooler uh, because what I noticed was that my temperatures uh, were very high. My temperatures were. Uh, sort of in the 80s and then we were getting, sort of getting 90s and I think even now I've got some clip of me doing some uh, video rendering uh, while watching YouTube for example which it does fine it, it never crashed on me but I noticed the temperature was getting up to about 105 degrees if not hotter than that and I know from my experience that's not good uh, so what I thought is I saw this was actually on sale at 30% off uh, a local uh, local PC store so I grabbed that and then I basically ended up coming in here. I hadn't got any spare thermal paste bearing in mind. I ended up coming in here and going, well, okay, we'll fit that, no problem, because I've seen it fits AMD. We've got AMD brackets, we've got AMD mounts. It will be no problem at all, you know, it will be easy peasy. Uh, but the problem I had is, is that, because I assumed the thermal paste would be dry anyway, but I knew this came pre applied, so I didn't actually end up buying any. And um, unfortunately, it was very much dried out because this computer stayed on pretty much constantly since I've got it. It's been either mining or gaming uh, pretty much non-stop uh, since I've had it. So, uh, But basically, the thermal paste was completely dried out on this when I took it off. This is stuff I've reapplied, some cheap stuff I got. It seems to have done the job, really, in the, 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 the day or two I applied it. I'll go and clean this off now and um, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to clean the processor, I'm going to clean this old radiator and then we're going to fit these brackets. Now these brackets should have come with the motherboard. I, uh, I was really annoyed, so the comp I got this from Scan Computers and uh, annoyingly these should have come with it. Um, they're part of my motherboard but for whatever reason whether they threw them away or something I, I don't know but they didn't supply them to me so I've had to go out and I've had to buy these separately, which is kind of annoying. I don't want to want to snap the board or anything silly. Uh,
these Arctic fans come with like an external, uh, an external like sensor for the fan to take or therm thermometer. But what I like to do with those, I used to use them all over the case and in different areas. But what I've started doing, which I found to be the best solution, is. Uh, but yeah, what I like to use is I put these thermo sensors in the back of the graphics card and that seems to give off because that's going to be one of the hottest bits in the entire computer uh, and that seems to then set the pace for the rest of the hardware in the machine uh, which it seems to be working quite well for me so uh, what we'll do is we'll actually see if we can go let's take that off one moment let's see if we can Okay, I think we're good to, we've got all the fans put in. I didn't really want a gap between them there, uh, but that's kind of how it's ended up, because of the way the, the case is set up. So, fuck it, I, would, I just thought we'll go with it. Um, yeah, um, and dust everywhere. So I guess it's down to the main event. I already technically unboxed this want. Um, <laughs> it's... Uh, I yeah, no, that's no, that's the bracket I need. That's one of them, and that's the other one. Oh, that was such a heart sinking moment when I just opened this up and I was like, oh, that's not gonna fit, and that's not gonna fit, and oh, that's not gonna fit. Oh, okay, and then usually I've got spare parts and things, but. On this occasion, we didn't really have any spare parts, so uh, I'm assuming it's going to be more sensible to mount the radiator first. Um, right. Electronic smell. Nice though, um, sort of looked at these for a good while, but they've always been, to be honest with you, for the performance gain, these have always been too expensive, but as I said, the 30% off, I figured that was, um, that was a pretty good bloody price, so I thought we would, uh, would have that. So it recommends, stick it up here, my LEDs coming unstuck, they were only cheap. Uh, recommends to have something along the lines of sticking that up there like that and that should yeah we'll have plenty of room for the fans on it as well okay yeah no, that's good that's really nice and I guess the Corsair symbol is the right way around as well I suppose makes sense nice okay well pray for me people it should be okay we got to take these uh, brackets and things off, but we'll mount we'll mount it first, I think, which is going to need. Um, all right, nice. <clears throat> Okay, I just had a thought. Um, to anyone that's interested, I mean, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to where this, uh, to where I got this computer. There's no affiliate link there, at least yet. Um, I, you know, wouldn't mind that. Uh, but this is a computer I got from Scan earlier this year. Really excited about it. I've got other videos on my channel. Again, I'll link in the description of my sort of journey with this. I had my MX-5 to learn uh, about how to work on cars, how to do things like oil, filter changes. I ended up, <laughs> ended up stripping the MX-5 completely uh, and knowing every nut and bolt on it and how it goes together. I had a few problems, had to fix it, crashed it, fixed it. Uh, and you name it, I had all sorts of issues. And this, I thought, is actually quite similar because the motherboard it gives you, the general equipment it gives you is perfect to get you going because it came with eight gigabytes of RAM. I believe it's been updated. It comes with an hour, one terabyte SSD, but it doesn't come with a hard drive. So I got a hard drive, a one terabyte hard drive, and I got a 500 gig SSD, which I would prefer personally, but I can understand giving you a terabyte SSD. 
Um, but basically that's quite what I thought is that I'm doing these videos and it's almost a bit like uh, kind of working on the MX-5 but with computers really for me. So if anyone has like followed me through my journey on my videos, I do appreciate that. I uh, So thank you very much for being a supporter of the channel. It helps me no end. And uh, I'm, so, I'm very grateful for the uh, for the viewers I do get. So the channel has actually been doing amazing. I've been really happy with um, with how the channel's been doing. To be honest, uh, it's slowly, but I think once we get the uh, is that even wet? Once we get the um, uh, once we get the thousand subscriber limit, I think we'll be basically will be set off then. We should be basically, unfortunately there will be adverts back on the channel, but I mean that's a given. Um, hopefully if I can get monetization again, because I had monetization, but I lost it. Uh, the YouTube app like rules changed and I lost it. That is extremely satisfying there. That click uh, was really nice. Now can I briefly, can I briefly just do that while I... I've got to get these, uh, so I believe what we're doing is, it's got a hook system in this. Um, I think I've done everything I kind of need to uh, in terms of other than wiring it in, but I think from the looking at how these wires go, uh, it's going to be easier. It's not the way I'd recommend doing this, by the way, but um, it's a bit annoying it doesn't just fit over it, actually. You can take that off when you're ready, but whatever. Uh, I have got more thermal paste now if I need to, but I'd like to use, this stuff's probably better quality than the stuff I've got, so let's just thread that on there, and let's do the same with this one, and then what I'll do is I'll show you wiring it in, I'm going to clean up the wires because I can suspect it's going to be, with adding we're adding a lot of wires to the back and the back's already a bit of a mess it's actually pretty good in my opinion uh, and what I did recently as well is this power cable for the graphics card actually came out of here and across and I've moved it to down here and I think that's way way nicer I don't know I don't, there's little things like that that I've just been staring at it for ages and then like just one day I look at it and go oh yeah you could do that differently I don't know why we're um, quite like that particularly myself but Okay, let's uh, get this in position, oh. um, and that's going to, I think someone said you want to get, basically you want to get one side hooked on first, there you go, like that, and then I'm going to sort of try and line it up, that sort of clicked in, I'm going to take that away. Really nice, actually. Now, I will say the screwing, uh, the thread on the radiator was really tough. Uh, if you don't have the correct screwdriver, you're going to strip the screws on this. I, they're, they're not deep screws. I don't know if it's like an American fitment. I don't know if it's a Japanese. I know they're different to European. Uh, but either way, it was really, uh, they're really not good. So my usual European like screwdrivers is sort of generics, I guess, Philips, or this is a Draper, particularly the brand. But... I had to use this other one, which I've tried about six or seven different screwdrivers, and none of them being this sort of big, but basically this was the only one that would go in that wouldn't strip it. I think it was just just thick enough on the end that it could get all the end on it. So that's something to be aware of with this. Not really anyone sort of said that. So now we've got basically these. This is better to power the fans, which is really convenient. And then this is just to power, I think, the RGB and the pump. Uh, or is the USB the RGB? I'm not too sure. Maybe this powers the pump then. And then that controls it. So I believe that goes on up there, which is going to be a little bit difficult to do. Okay. It looks a lot smarter though. I'll give it... You wouldn't, I wouldn't think personally it's the same computer, but this, this goes back to sort of what I was saying just before. I don't know how well this video is going to go together because I'm so all over the place trying to think about doing the right thing and make a video but um, but the, basically this is very similar to being just such a modular PC and you can still get them it's a good price I looked around on eBay on the pre-belts there and other PC building specialists in the UK uh, and generally for the price and what you're getting in the motherboard and things because as, as an ex-console gamer 
I basically didn't know anything about motherboards, didn't know anything about graphics cards. I knew a bit about NVIDIA cards and things, but I didn't know too much. And uh, I just basically wanted something to work, and I had to slowly learn about like motherboards and the computers I were looking at and I nearly bought had an A320 motherboard in them, and I'm so glad I avoided that. But it wasn't until I researched these parts and what I was actually looking at that I realised where the good computers are and where the bad computers are. And if I'm honest, it was actually kind of not that. There's actually not that many uh, places you can go and buy a nice, actually modular PC that I can do what I'm showing you here, and that's actually progressing progressive upgrades as you own it and if I wanted to put a bigger processor in here I could and obviously down the line you could even change out the whole thing for something else different motherboard and everything but I really do quite like that I like being able to tinker with products being able to do things yourself uh, being able to modify them and improve them and actually feel and see the improvement unlike say your HP or your Dell computers they're very limited on the upgrades, you know, maybe like an SSD, maybe like 8 gigs of RAM, but you, you can't do much with them. And if you get a new processor come out, it won't support it. So that that's why I'm really happy with getting this, and I'll, uh, I'll encourage anyone else that's in a similar position to me uh, to go and have a look at one, basically. A uh, tool for just cleaning dust, just get a nice clean paintbrush, something that's never been used for paint and won't be used for paint, and I just keep this in my drawer. And, I've dusted a lot of my electronics and things over the years with it, and it's it's just been brilliant to clean, uh, to clean the electronics and things that just don't you know because otherwise if you're not careful you can scratch, you can mark, uh, you can damage things if you're not too careful. So a paintbrush like that that's done me really well, and I regularly dust out this computer. So here we go, here we get to sort of the the secret of the computer really. Um, I think I've shown this off and on, but I don't know. Okay, that's looking fine up there. We need, so I've actually got quite a lot of, I just have to pull it until we can get something loose. I've actually got quite a few spare, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to move that up, so that's fine. I've actually got quite a few spare uh, SATA ports, and also I think there's a spare uh, eight pin and a few other bits in this, which is quite nice for Corsair 450. I've generally been very impressed. I've been uh, very happy with what, I've been offered with this PC all round. As I said, it's not it's something I can upgrade, I can change and make things improved. Uh, now, are we going to get that in there? I'm actually going to put that back. I'm going to put that back because that sits better. That sits better like that. And then we're going to just put this sort of probably just smashed in there to a degree. Uh, well actually no it won't kind of reach it's a bit yeah that is a bit it's not too tight but it's tighter than I'd like really um, on that so maybe we can do something I've got an idea of the sink we can tuck this and this is a lot of it you're going to kind of use existing cables in the case to your advantage if we tuck that up there and what I'm going to do, and I don't look at this, this doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to work and be serviceable and that's pretty much what it is. So, uh, as I said, these adding these fans and things has basically made it quite messy where it otherwise wouldn't be that bad back here, but it's okay. Um, that didn't cost too much, that was like £30, which they go for a bit more than that now. Which, to be honest, SSDs were a lot cheaper a few, uh, about 12 months ago. They've all gone, everything computers related has gone up in price, but particularly... Things like that have definitely um, have definitely gone up in price. Uh, I don't know if we can. Yeah, it should be okay. Uh, okay, so it's not the prettiest, but that should that should that should be good. I actually thought it'd be a lot more difficult than that, but that's seemingly looking pretty good right there. And the main thing is, I just don't want to see. Um, I don't want to see too much from the opposite side, um, and I was kind of thinking this cooler would block off a lot of the a lot of this opposite side, but I don't think it does. So I've still got quite a lot of yeah. We've got basically this hanging, this hanging down here. I want to try and get rid of. So let's um, see what we can do about that. Um, I'd say let's just cable tie it. This round, this one. 
which there was one here before but I actually I actually took it off recently because the that's where the power cable was and I had to remove it uh, to a different location so um, okay yeah that's okay uh, let's put that I'm actually amazed that this this card is smaller, lighter, and it's, it's way more powerful, and it can take more watts than my 1660 Super. And uh, for my brief gaming on it already, it's been awesome. I can finally play Red Dead Redemption without any frame drops or anything. And that's, that, I've been honest, is about the only game the 1660 wasn't really very good with, to be honest. Um, that and things like Horizon, big open world games like Horizon Zero Dawn as well, a similar, similar sort of thing. It just basically wasn't always a consistent 60, whereas other games it was a true, you know, 100 frames a second easy, no problem. Um, but yeah, doing this, been a really nice upgrade for my computer. So if you've watched all this, and this has been a course over a week or two making this video, so I'm sorry if I've been all over the place, but I do a very much thank you for watching me all this time. We'll get into it, and I guess we can do a nice, nice little peel, if I can get on it, wherever it is. Yeah, there we go. Like the tab had like been bent in or something. <laughs> it's actually really reflective. All right, sweet, so let's get her plugged in, and um, let's get her started up and see if she boots, and it should be fine. Touch wood, fingers crossed, all the rest of it. Aye, right, that's perfect. Hopefully, I don't know how this gets on on camera, but it says there we're getting 40 degrees C, and the maximum on boot was 58 degrees C, which is enormously better. And it's I don't know how much more I can uh, do with this PC in terms of upgrades, but this should be perfect for a good while now. Uh, I do have intentions to change this Ryzen out for a different one in the future, but for the time being this is going to be an awesome little upgrade for me and I, I'm very, very pleased with my purchase and my trade I made. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe as I try to grow my channel on YouTube and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.